reflecting the pride and dignity of a people through its markets. Special Heroes Weekend reception for 2012 Olympians and Jamaica celebrates historic 2-1 win over the USA. With Jamaica House Weekly, I'm Stacey Ann Smith. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller has reiterated government's commitment to improving the conditions of the island's markets. I really believe our women and our men that do business in our markets should do so in comfort. And the markets should reflect the dignity and the pride of our people. She was speaking at the opening of the newly renovated Spaulding's Market in Clarendon on Thursday. Phase one of the project was completed at a cost of $31 million and involved the construction of the first floor of the multi-level structure. The Urban Development Corporation, the local government ministry, as well as the Clarendon Parish Council were partners in the construction of phase one. Another $31 million will be spent by the Jamaica Social Investment Fund to start phase two of the project, which will include the construction of a food court, haberdashery and shops to be leased and sold for operations. The new market provides adequate parking and is expected to ease traffic congestion in the town. We thank you. We thank you for having executed so well. We thank you for being the fabulous role model you are for our young people here in Jamaica. Minister Without Portfolio with Responsibility for Sport, Natalie Nita Headley, addressing Olympian and Diamond League winner Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, who returned to the island on Saturday. Mrs. Nita Headley announced plans to thank all the island's athletes who participated in the 2012 London Olympics. We are going to ensure that come here as weekend, we demonstrate for all of our athletes, not just Shelly Ann, a special reception and celebration on Heroes Weekend to let all of our Olympians know that Jamaica recognizes the value that you bring to the process of development of this country. And Mrs. Nita Headley was among the throng of supporters who gathered at the National Stadium to watch the Reggae Boys' historic 2-1 victory over the USA Friday night. Mrs. Nita Headley said the government was looking to further develop the sport by focusing on the young. One of the things that I believe is a drawback for us um, is the lack of proper facilities. So the infrastructure at the grassroots is poor. Um, and so we are engaged in a partnership at this time which we are seeking to develop with UK Sports to look at grassroots sports development, which will include all sports, not just football. Uh, but football is one of those sports which is played throughout Jamaica naturally. Um, it doesn't really take much, it doesn't take a, a lot in terms of capital injection. Uh, all you need is a ball and a crep, a good talent, and people who play football. So I think an investment in the grassroots program is going to be critical, and that's where we're looking. Government staging of Jamaica House at the O2 Arena during the 2012 London Olympics was not only a public relations success, but also a budgetary triumph. That's according to Information Minister Senator Sandria Faulkner, who said the event was executed within budget. I'm happy to report that they came on the budget and the final cost as we have it as at yesterday, John, as at yesterday, it was 969000 652 pounds, so we came under the one million pound budget. The data was compiled by Jamaica Promotion Corporation, Jampro, and the Jamaica Tourist Board, JTB, and issued to the public during a press briefing last Friday. The news follows an earlier disclosure that over a billion people worldwide received positive news about Jamaica during the London 2012 Olympics. Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller has gifted the Canadian High Commissioner Stephen Hallihan with the GIS Jamaica 50 photo album. Our Golden Jubilee, snapshots of post-independent Jamaica 1962-2012, captures important milestones in the nation's history since independence. Mr. Hallihan received the photo album during a recent courtesy call at Jamaica House. And even as the Indian High Commissioner to Jamaica, Mohinda Singh Grover, gets ready to depart the island, the two countries continue to strengthen ties in IT training, energy and trade. During a call on Prime Minister Portia Simpson-Miller, the outgoing High Commissioner to India said it was a privilege and honor to have served his nation in Jamaica. 
High Commissioner Grover told Mr. Simpson Miller that his departure from Jamaica was like separating from an emotional embrace. In turn, the Prime Minister described Mr. Grover as a friend in whom the spirit of kindness and compassion was evident. And that's it for this week's edition of Jamaica House Weekly. I'm Stacey Ann Smith. Join us next time for the latest happenings out of the office of the Prime Minister.